Nerve root pain after surgery. When we perform a microscopic decompression of a nerve root, we take away the pressure that has been causing pain. For the first 24 or 48 hours after surgery, the nerve root usually feels great. It's finally free for the first time in months or years. Since there is now less pressure on the nerve root, there is also an increase in blood flow to a part of the nerve root called the dorsal root ganglion. The dorsal root ganglion can swell, and you can experience a temporary spike in pain or discomfort. We call this postoperative dysesthesia. The word dysesthesia has Latin origins and basically means bad sensations. It describes an abnormal or unpleasant sensation when touched. This happens about 10% of the time after microscopic spine surgery. Our patients will report that after an initial honeymoon, when the nerve root felt great, their pain came back for a couple of hours or a day. The experience is similar to what happens when you warm your hands up after they have gotten really cold. When they are cold and numb, similar to being squashed by a disc herniation, the feeling is unpleasant. As they start to warm up and the circulation is restored, the pins and needles can make you want to crawl out of your skin. If this happens after surgery, the best course of action is usually to give it time and walk it off. The nerve root needs time to heal. If we were to illustrate the pain caused by a disc herniation that requires a microscopic decompression, it might look something like this. The nerve root is happy until a disc herniation squeezes the nerve root. Anti-inflammatory medications, muscle relaxants, and physical therapy help decrease the pain. But the pain keeps coming back. This herniation is bad enough that it needs an operation. On the day of the operation, the pressure is finally removed and the nerve root breathes a sigh of relief. 24 to 48 hours later, increased blood flow to the dorsal root ganglion causes temporary swelling, and the pain may return. As the nerve continues to heal, the swelling comes and goes, but ultimately, the nerve root returns to normal and the patient is happy. If you are experiencing dysesthesia after a microscopic decompression, there are a number of things that we can do. We can give you a short course of anti-inflammatory steroids, like prednisone. We can give you some medications, like Lyrica or Neurontin, that help with nerve root pain. If your pain is really severe, we can give you a nerve root block with an injection. Most of the time, dysesthesia after spine surgery is temporary. If it persists for very long, more than a week or two, we will get an MRI scan of the area to make sure there is no new problem causing nerve root impingement. If you develop dysesthesia or other symptoms, such as muscle weakness, new numbness, or problems with bowel and bladder function, we need to know about it. Make sure you contact us so that we can monitor your progress and help guide you through the post-operative period.